Hi there, Ralph Harris again. Do you like arguments? You know, discussion seasoned with some passion. There's an important one going on right now, and it's about what Jesus did for us all on the cross. That's important, and I've been part of it at times, and I will be. But I want to say that the risk and maybe the cost of prosecuting our particular side of the argument is often that we lose the wonder of knowing and enjoying Jesus himself. You know, Christ in me, Christ in you, him. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, Paul writes that the primary battle, the big fight for the Christian is this. Demolish wipe out, fight off, throw away anything that threatens you from knowing God. That is the prize, and that's what's threatened by other stuff or arguments. Demolish them. Now that doesn't mean trash your television, um, don't watch March Madness or Downton Abbey or uh, American Idol, it doesn't mean throw away your, uh, your iPhone or your Samsung. It doesn't mean stop talking, uh, stop fighting about big oil or big government. Neither does it mean come to a conclusion right now. Choose a team and fight concerning exactly what Jesus did at the cross. We must win the argument now. Prosecute with us. It doesn't mean that. For you and for me, it means... Don't get lost. Don't get so caught up in debate, even over important things, maybe especially over important things, that knowing and enjoying Jesus in you, with you, and for you, becomes and remains less of an anticipated thrill and solution and hope and joy than those other things. We write and talk about the gospel, which is the very power of God, not simply so people can be smarter and well-armed in a debate. We who love the gospel offer it to people because it enables and promotes in them what it has in us, the knowing and the loving of God himself, the prize, the joy. Some of the arguments we're having go toward knowing Jesus. I know, and that's good. But there's an awful lot of it where that's been lost. So in your mind, in your writing, in your conversation, be careful to hold the prize, to hold to the real treasure of knowing Jesus in you and with you and for you. That is the treasure above all treasure. This is the God we get to know, the mystery hidden from the ages, but now revealed to us and received by us. Christ in you means life for the first time, and what he does and how he is from there, in you, reveals and directs life. That's the prize, and that is where the wonder is, right? You should have it. Fight for it. It's worth it. See you later.